HP laptop. I have it right here. You see it in front of me? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's not really here in front of me. I actually made a whole video about this. Audio got messed up. But I think it's going to be a good thing because I think you guys will like this a little bit better. It's going to be a little bit shorter. It's going to be a little bit more to the point. So I'm going to show you the issue for it. So it's a really interesting issue. We've actually noticed it more on Windows 11 machines that upgraded to the 22H2 update. And it's been going on there. We've actually seen a few customers have this problem. And they come in here. They show us the laptop. And when they move around with the trackpad, you actually see is that it actually gives a black screen. Now, the black screen, you're thinking, well, it's not really just giving a black screen, it's flickering sometimes. So when you move it with your finger there, especially on the trackpad, um, sometimes it has happened on the touchscreen, but I actually didn't see it, especially when I was making the video, um, it was giving a problem. And it only seems to happen on the screen itself. So you're probably thinking, hmm, I have a screen, maybe it's a screen problem. Is that really what's going on here? Hmm, is it a screen problem? Well, it actually isn't, because we're gonna actually connect it to an external um, display here, and we actually see it's doing nothing on the dis the external display it's only doing on the screen so you think wow what's what's really going on with it something actually has to be happening inside there it seems like it's some type of screen problem but it only happened when there was a software update so how does that even make any sense whatsoever so we actually show this interesting little thing in the corner here especially when the the screen is actually black it looks like a little cursor movement in the corner and it happens using the top left corner um, we've actually seen that type of problem before on, on definitely for other type of hp laptops that have a very similar problem but uh, this one is being more aimed towards like Windows 11. So what's really the problem? What's really going on? And why does it only happen when I use it on my normal display? And why does it not happen on an external? So probably thinking, again, maybe it's just a monitor. It's a screen problem. But nah, that's not actually what's going on here. So what we want to do is there is a problem with the graphics driver. Um, and we hope that there wouldn't be a problem with the actual uh, GPU itself there, but it seems to be obviously more of why because there was an update We're gonna think logically there was an update and now there's a problem. So there has to be something communication Somewhere, so what are we gonna do? So there's two things or maybe not even two things There's a few things we can actually try first Sometimes some people have HP support assistant, especially if you bought the laptop you never formatted it never uh, reinstall Windows. You'll usually have these softwares built into there. A lot of pre-built laptops, <laughs> I'm going to say pre-built laptops, a lot of laptops in general just have this. It's called HP Support Assist. You can actually go ahead and look at um, your model number, serial number, those things, and it actually does updates for uh, very specific drivers for your specific device. And it's actually pretty nice that you don't have to manually go to the website. You can actually go there and actually see um, what's going on. So, what, what are we going to be doing, really? We're going to be checking that if you're interested in that. Um, go ahead and check that out if you have that. If you don't have that, we can actually go to the website here. And I'll go into the website. You can actually just go to Google. You can Google search it. Go to HP. Um, you want to pretty much find your HP laptop driver. So you can go to the HP laptop uh, driver support page there. And it's something really interesting that we found here. And it just kind of blows my mind. And I'm not sure. I've seen this a lot, especially with HP. Uh, you'll see that there's a Windows 10. And then there's also Windows 10... 20 h2 drivers 1904 drivers there's lots of different drivers for this lots of different versions of windows so that kind of makes me actually think about the uh this journey in, in particular is going to actually be what it looks like there's gonna be a driver problem with it so let's go ahead and see if we can find the driver but what wait there's no windows 11 driver there's just windows 10 drivers so we can't actually even go through this in the first place we need to actually find another way to update the driver we can go through this driver maybe this update might actually work but if you actually look here we do see that this is from december of 2020 which is kind of baffles my mind that there isn't an actual updated driver since december 2020 and this is what uh, this this laptop doesn't have actual graphics chip in it it actually has intel graphics built in so we need to make sure we update that and unfortunately we can't find that here so we're gonna think next best thing well if it's an intel chip and it has Intel graphics. Why don't we just go to the graphics support page on Intel's website? So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and check that out. And if we go there, um, we can go to the website. You can f Google it if you want. Um, there's also a way you can check it out. You want to see what exactly your processor and graphics are. So we can actually go to, uh, you can go to like a file explorer there. You could actually right click. There's a properties or you can go through HP support. You actually see what specs you have on the laptop. If you know your specs, that's a great thing. You can actually go ahead and check that out. Or you can go to support page, even on HP, they'll tell you as well. Um, we want to find technical specifications. We want to find this, the same one, but we don't have to necessarily go for that because uh, if we actually look at the Intel drivers here, the Intel drivers cover a lot of different things, and you'll see that um, it's going to cover 
for pretty much a lot of different different models, a different um, operating systems. It goes to Windows 10 and Windows 11, and all of the different versions that go in between. So we actually found a driver here, and we're going to go ahead and use this. This is again on the Intel page there, and we can actually look at the support page for d drivers and downloads, and it's there. It's not too difficult to actually find. So we're going to go ahead and, and clean install it. You'll see that there is it's something called like a clean installation, which pretty much removes the old driver, resets all the settings to default, and it's always a good way, especially if you're doing any type of graphics drivers whatsoever. So you upload that, and there you go. There you have it. So does it actually work? Well, let's go ahead and find out. So if we can actually test it here, and we actually see with the trackpad, we're doing it. It's gone. It's all gone. It's just, wow, it's a wonderful magic. And it's not just the finger touch that we actually did have for this. No, we just have a driver update. So I guess, wait, the video was a little bit longer than it should have been. But it was longer from before. But I want to show you guys to make sure at least you guys know what's going on. So if you have the black screen, you see that happen when you use the touchpad driver? Try this. See if it actually works. I bet it's going to work for you guys. So work for us. So hope you guys are watching. If you did, please hit like. Really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.